Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, in the previous class, we started structuralism in linguistics. We will continue with the same topic, but today our topic will be Lang and Parole. Okay, so let me give you a very brief overview of the previous discussion. We talked about Ferdinand de Saussure. Then we talked about the former approaches towards the study of linguistics and then the modern uh, approach, uh, which was the approach of Ferdinand de Saussure or the structuralist approach. Okay, so according to that approach, like uh, the comparison between the two, so according to the former approaches of linguistics, the all the features of linguistics are considered to be separate entities okay like grammar words and pronunciation speech sounds they were considered to be separate entities uh, inside you know the box of language like inside the mind of individuals uh, inside the minds of the speakers but the uh, when the this when when the the, the modernist uh, school of thought when it started okay the Ferdinand de Saussure when he came and he uh, put forward his ideas so according to this approach the modern approach because modern linguistics uh, starts with uh, you know the ideas of Ferdinand de Saussure now when this modern linguistics started they started believing that all the elements of language uh, such as the you know uh, lexical items words the grammatical structures and the speech sounds all of them are you know they are combined together and they are not separate entities rather they are very closely linked with one another okay and this is you know a kind of language is a kind of this structure like like all the elements of language they are not individual entities they are not separate entities rather they are very closely linked to one another okay so this was you know the basic difference between the modern concept and the, uh, the, the former concept of linguistics and then the modern approach towards linguistics uh, then we talked about the uh, you know the, the the basic concept of language that it is a system of signs that express ideas and we talked about signifier and signified if you remember okay uh, we talked about arbitrariness as well in the uh, previous class uh, then we talked about uh, the you know non fixity of in meaning there is no fixity in meaning because a thing uh, may refer to a thing may have you know so many different kinds of signified so many different kinds of meaning uh, then we talked about the you know a, a world that it it is constituted with the help of language since language exists so that is why thoughts exist okay uh, and we talked about synchronic and diachronic linguistics or synchronic or diachronic study today uh, we are going to talk about length and parole okay this is a very short topic, Lang and Parole. Uh, this will come from the French language. Uh, in the French language, its pronunciation is uh, Parole because of velar hard consonant sounds such as Kha and Ra. These sounds are very prominent in the French language. Anyhow, uh, Lang and Parole, they, this concept was given by Fernand de Sasser since we are discussing modern linguistics and modern linguistics started with the ideas of uh, Ferdinand de Sasser. That is why this idea was also given by, uh, proposed by that gentleman. So, uh, what is meant by Lang and what is meant by parole? Let's talk about it. So, Lang, according to Ferdinand de Sasser, means uh, Lang means the abstract knowledge of language principles present in our mind, or the abstract language system of language which is, you know, present in our mind. The, the principles of language, all the rules and regulations of the language, okay? All the entire system of language which is inside our mind, that is what he calls lang. On the other hand, we have got parole. 
Perul means the actualization of link or you know you know the the link which utterances which we actually produce to put it simply we have got the abstract knowledge of language which is inside our mind that is which we cannot see which we cannot you know uh, we, we cannot realize that okay so that is actually the link and now the language which we actually produce like now, right now i'm producing language i'm talking to you i'm discussing a topic okay so i'm producing certain speech sounds i'm uttering certain words and those words are you know uttered in a particular order in a particular uh, syntactic order grammatical order so the words the utterances the grammatical utterances the the sentences which i'm actually producing they this is what we call parole okay now look at this picture this is the knowledge of uh, the knowledge of language present in our mind like well, for example you might be speaking urdu you might be speaking pushtu you might be speaking english or any other language of the world now the knowledge about that language which is inside your mind that knowledge is called lang like you have got the link of the Pushtu language in your mind, the link of Urdu, the link of English, and the link of Chatrali language if someone can speak Chatrali. Okay, so that is what we call link because uh, that is the abstract knowledge of language which is inside our minds. On the other hand, when you start speaking, when you start actually actualizing the language which you, when you start producing the language that is what we call parole okay like right now i'm producing speech i am speaking the english language at this particular moment so i am producing actually the english parole okay you might be speaking pushtu so at that time when you are speaking the pushtu language you are actually producing the pushtu payroll okay you are doing the pushtu payroll like the language which you actually produce the speech sounds which you produce in the words in the grammatical utterances okay so this actual production of language is called payroll clear so far the difference between lang and payroll yes sir okay yes uh, sir you may say it's um, like the game of chess we may we may say the rules of the game of chess we we have you know we we have the knowledge of the game of chess for example and that knowledge is inside our mind but when we start playing the game of chess in real that becomes the payroll then this is just you know um, uh, uh, a kind of example or a kind of comparison okay uh, maybe not the exit uh, example but i just want to make the thing clear so we may say that when we when we have the knowledge of the game of chess that uh, knowledge is inside our mind so that is what we can call uh, the length of the game of chess okay for example now when we start actually playing the game of chess okay like this when we sit together on chairs and we have that you know a game of chess in front of us and we start uh, you know doing the, those moves like moving those uh, particular objects then it becomes the parole okay same is the case with language as well like we have the abstract knowledge of language which is inside our mind and that is what you call length okay and when we start actually producing the language that is what uh, then becomes the parole okay so uh, keep one thing in your mind that length is shared by the speech community on the other hand parole varies from individual to individual what i mean is that link link is the same okay in the mind of all the speakers for example if you talk about the english speakers so link is the same okay in the mind of all the english speakers they have got the same knowledge of the english language okay like the same speech sounds are there in their mind okay the same grammatical structures are there and the same lexical items i mean the same words are there inside their mind while if we uh, if you look at the parole so parole is something individual it varies from person to person from speaker to speaker how 
coming to the example from the Pashto language, like we have got the uh, speech sounds of the Pashto language, we have got the, you know, grammatical structures of the English language, of the Pashto language, we have got the words of the Pashto language. Now we all share these words, these grammatical structures and these, you know, speech sounds, we share them. All the Pashtun people, for example, okay, this is what we call lang. The abstract knowledge which is inside our mind, so that is uh, that is what we actually shared. Okay, the entire community shares that knowledge. But if you look at the parole, okay, the actual realization of the language, so the way I speak the Pashto language is different than the way Asad speak it. Okay, the way Asad speaks the Pashto language must be quite different than the way Asif speak it. Okay, then the way Asif speaks that language must be different than the way Anisa Bulki speaks that language. Okay, so that is why uh, that is why I uh, I told you that parole varies from individual to individual. Okay, what this what the individual speaker speaks. Okay, what the individual speaker speaks. On the other hand, parole uh, link is something which sh which is shared by the community. So coming to the example again, like if you look at the Urdu language, so we all possess the knowledge of the Urdu language. Okay, the knowledge about the speech sounds of the English, uh, Urdu language, the knowledge about the uh, grammatical structures of the English, Urdu language, and the knowledge about the lexical items. I mean, the knowledge about the words of the Urdu language. So we have got the uh, speech sounds of the Urdu language, we have got the words, the lexical items of the Urdu language, and the grammatical structures of the Urdu language. Okay, now this knowledge is shared by all of us. Okay, the native speakers particularly. Okay, so this knowledge is shared by all uh, the native speakers of the Urdu language, but when we when it, when it comes to the parole, when it comes to the actual speaking of the Urdu language, so in that case, what happens? The parole varies from individual to individual, from speaker to speaker. How speaker A he will be speaking English of uh, the Urdu language differently from speaker B. Now the way speaker B speaks the Urdu language must be different from the way speaker C speaks it. So that is why uh, per parole varies from individual individual to individual. Now what sort of variations are there? Variations can be in the grammatical structures, okay? Variations can be in uh, the lexical items, the words, but particularly variations exist in the case of pronunciation because my pronunciation is different from yours, okay? Asif's pronunciation is different from Inam's, okay? Uh, Umid Shir's pronunciation is different from Anisa Balki's pronunciation. So that is how pronunciation varies from individual to individual, okay? Pronunciation means like uh, uh, our pace, Pace means the speed of the tempo of our pronunciation, our pitch, okay, uh, the loudness in our pronunciation, multiple features are there which distinguish the speech of one individual from another. So since uh, the way we produce speech, it varies from individual to individual, from speaker to speaker. That is why Ferdinand de Sasser says that uh, parole, varies from individual to individual. While the knowledge which we have got about language, the abstract knowledge which we call lang, that lang is shared by the community. It means that all the people of the community possess the same lang, okay? The same knowledge of language. But uh, if you look at par parole, so parole varies from individual to individual. Uh, there is uh, there are some other points as well regarding lang and parole. Like we may say that lang, l a n g u e, lang is perfect. It is perfect. Okay. Lang is perfect, while parole can be faulty. Faulty means F A U L T Y. Faulty means that mistakes can be there. Now, link is perfect. Link is perfect. How? In terms of pronunciation, 
the abstract knowledge of the language which is inside our minds that pronunciation is perfect okay similarly the lexical items the words which are inside our minds particularly of our native or of our mother tongue so those words are also perfect okay and the grammatical structures they are also perfect inside our minds now when it comes to parole parole means the actual uh, or the actual production of language so when we when it comes to parole the actual uh, production of language the actual production can be faulty faulty means that there can be errors there can be mistakes okay now what sort of mistakes can be there uh for example we may sometimes commit speech uh slips of the tongue slips of the tongue means like to say uh let me uh let me pick the typing feature okay right here look at this let me type Now look at these examples. They're uh, they're called slips of the tongue. Okay, you will uh, study these things in your next semester in psycholinguistics. But let me uh, just clarify these examples. Now look at this. Go and take a shower. This is the correct structure. Okay, but sometimes when we are in hurry or when we are anxious, when we are when we are you know uh, under certain pressure, we may erroneously say go and shake a tower instead of go and take a shower. We say go and shake a tower. Okay, uh, like instead of take we say shake instead of shower we say tower. Okay, we say, this is what we call a sound reversal. Like in this cha and sha, they are reversed here. Sha comes here while cha comes here. Okay. Similarly, uh, well, this example has been taken from a very, uh, you know, uh, f funny situation. There was a class and a teacher, a student wanted to tell a teacher that he had missed all the history lectures of his teacher. So he, instead of saying, I have missed all your history uh, lectures he mistakenly reversed the has sound in the ma sound and he erroneously mistakenly said i have hissed all your mystery lectures okay mystery lectures and i have hissed so it's just kind, such kind of slips of the tongue uh, take place in our day to day uh, communication okay so uh, this is what this is how uh, i told you did the actual a uh, language production can be faulty because there can be slips of the tongue okay we commit such sort of slips of the tongue in the urdu in pashto in our mother tongue okay so there can be slips of the tongue apart from uh, these slips of the tongue there can be some phonological pronunciation sometimes uh, pronunciation uh, phonological mistakes okay there can be lexical mistakes like uh instead of one word we may say another word there can be grammatical mistakes instead of using the present tense we may mistakenly being the native speakers of a language we may mistakenly use the past tense or the future tense so mistakes can be from uh, can be uh, committed okay mistakes in pronunciation mistakes in the selection of words and mistakes in the grammatical structures of the language so that is why it is said that uh, parole is uh, parole can be faulty okay uh, length is perfect because that is the abstract knowledge inside our mind so that is perfect while when we actually produce the language when we produce parole when we do parole so that can be faulty sometimes okay so that is why uh, Fernand de Saussure says that uh, length is perfect while parole can be faulty as well so uh, this is all about uh, structuralism okay uh, let me uh, summarize the entire topic 
uh, structuralism in linguistics it's uh, 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 actually our focus is on the modern linguistics okay so modern linguistics started actually with the arrival of uh, structuralism in uh, the history of the english language and english linguistics so when the structuralism came uh, that actually you know paid the way uh, the, for uh, the modern linguistics and structuralism started with the ideas of Ferdinand this disaster he uh, his you know collection of lectures compilation of his lectures which was uh, published by his two former students which he had later on who had later on became his colleagues uh, now they published the lectures of Ferdinand de Saussure in the form of a kind of book and the name of that book was Course in General Linguistics which was published in 1916 okay so with that the modern linguistics started in structuralism started structuralism in linguistics then uh, there are two uh, we may talk about two approaches towards the study of language uh, the first one is the former approach and then the modern linguistic approach and the differences we have already talked about these differences okay now the ideas of Ferdinand de Saussure so he uh, takes language is a system of signs that express uh, ideas now uh, the basic concept he which he talks about is sign sign consists sign is made up of or it consists of a signifier and a signified we are signified a signifier uh, refers to the spoken or written words the, the the words which we actually produce okay the spoken words or the written words while signified refers to the concept associated with the, with the spoken or written words or simply the meaning of uh, the words okay like we have got dog so the written word dog or the spoken word dog okay this is the signifier while well, this object which you can see this animal and animal which has got four legs in which usually you know uh, bars at the night okay this object this animal is the concept and this is the meaning and this is called signified okay so a sign is the combination of a signifier and a signified okay then uh, he says that uh, there is an arbitrary relationship between a signifier and a signified like there is no direct relationship no one-to-one -one relationship between a signifier and signified this is what we have discussed in detail if you have any confusion you may go back to the previous lecture and uh, you may clarify this point okay the uh, arbitrary relationship between signifier and signified okay then uh, uh, there is no fixity in language no fixity in language means that uh, a single word might have got multiple meanings related meanings okay like if you look at the concept of tree the word tree so uh, someone was number was per, per speaker a uh, would have this concept in his or her mind then speaker b would have this concept of the tree in his or her mind okay simply when i say when i utter the word tree so the word tree is the signifier while, while its meaning is the signified now signifier is the same but meaning is not different Me, mean, meaning is not same meaning is not fixed okay as if would have a different tree in his mind okay anisa bilkis would have a different tree in her mind okay uh, similarly asadullah asif uh, imran rahmat ali Tawkir, all of you would have different concepts of trees in your mind okay so the same world tree it you know activates different concepts of the same uh, concept the same meaning tree in your mind it means that there is no fixity in language language is not fixed okay um, then language constitute words world, the world exists due to language simply okay because all thoughts in our minds they exist with the help of language only though there are certain controversies that there are certain uh, you know meanings or certain concepts which exist without language as well okay but most of the concepts exist with the help of language like we have the concept of linguistics literature democracy we have the concept of sociology all these concepts exist with and in language okay had there been no language there would have 
no such concepts at all okay uh, then synchronic and dynchronic studies so we have discussed this concept in historical linguistics as well in the previous lectures uh, and uh, in the previous class as well like synchronic variation means it uh, when we simply look at language when we explore language okay uh, without having any comparison okay on the other hand diachronic language when we take two different periods of a same language and we compare uh, those the language of those two different periods in order to find out the historical development okay to explore the historical development in that language that is then becomes the diachronic study or the diachronic linguistics and link and pair also this is what we discussed in the present class so this is all about structuralism in linguistics if you have any question you may kindly ask yes sir yes please could you please tell me asad what is your mother tongue your native language sir pashto we have pashto in bangash language okay fine so pashto is your mother tongue okay now yes, you sir. have got the knowledge of the pashto language in your mind all the speech sounds of the pashto language okay all the grammatical structures of the pashto language and all the words of the pashto language which is which are inside your mind okay right yes, here right here if you can see this inside your mind you have got the knowledge of the pashto language that is the parole uh, that is the link of the pashto language present in your mind okay now to come and tell me something in the pashto language simply tell me how are you sir translate it into pashto how are you sir yes translate it into pashto okay now when you uttered the words sartasu sangaye okay now this is the parole the actual production of language okay you have the entire knowledge of the pashto language in your mind that is the parole of the pashto language in your mind okay but now when you said sartasu sangaye this is the parole of the pashto language okay the language which you actually produce yes sir is an individual is individual person yes, yes. is individual person individual yes. speaker yes yes sir okay any other question no sir okay fine and sir what about this uh, twin twister it is called twin twister tongue twisters tongue twisters tongue twisters uh, the, the, it, it the, comes in parallel you are talking about these examples they they are called slips of the tongues slips yes. when our tongue slips it's actually uh, psycho psycho linguists believe that uh, it's actually you know slip of the mind because the uh, mind which uh, you know the which the, the motor cortex or the brain or the mind uh, the, the the order which actually the mind you know issues to the tongue so it is actually slip of the mind or slip of the brain you may say but we call it slips of the tongue slip of the tongue okay so it's mean that uh, in parole there can be error while in language exactly. it is uh, out of error it is uh, exactly link is ex link is perfect link is perfect yes okay, okay sir okay g any other question right uh let's talk about presentations 